So we're going to look at three cells. We're going to look at epithelial cells, red blood cells and sperm cells. So an epithelial cell basically is found on the inside of a of the small intestines and it looks something like this. And at the top this is where the actual digested food is going to be. And then we've got this cell which is our epithelial cell. And at the bottom we're going to have our normally our bloodstream. Okay, so we want that digested food to be able to go into the epithelial cell and then to be able to move from that epithelial cell into the bloodstream where it can be used in the body. So there are a couple of adaptations that the epithelial cell has got. The first ones um, at the top we've got microvilli. So these microvilli, what they are going to do is to dramatically increase the surface area. So they're going to increase surface area. That's basically the area where those products can be absorbed. Increasing the surface area is going to allow that absorption to take place more quickly and more efficiently. The other thing that the epithelial cell is going to have are mitochondria. So mitochondria, the site of aerobic respiration, and what's going to happen for those, they are going to be providing energy and that energy is going to be used to transport those digested products, those digested molecules through the cell because some methods of transfer, basically active transport, require energy. So those mitochondria are going to provide energy for active transport. And that's basically it in terms of the adaptations of an epithelial cell. So the next cell is the red blood cell. And this cell is normally represented as being circular, if you're looking at it from the top, or sort of a filled in donut shape if you're looking at it from the side. So something like that. The red blood cell doesn't have a nucleus, so it doesn't have a nucleus and what that allows it to do is to have more of a compound called haemoglobin. And that compound haemoglobin is what allows the red blood cell to carry oxygen. So it forms something called oxyhemoglobin and it allows that, that oxygen to be moved around the body. Also having no nucleus allows this red blood cell shape the shape is more surface area and it also means that it's smaller allowing it to fit through the smaller spaces um, when it's having to go to individual cells around the body. The next cell is the sperm cell. So the sperm cell is obviously there to fertilize the egg but it's usually represented as a pointy head with some sort of tail. Now that tail is what enables it to move. In order for that movement to take place it's going to need energy. So you can guess the organelle that's going to be present here. What you're going to have is lots of mitochondria. So the mitochondria site of respiration and that provides energy and that energy is going to be used for the movement towards the egg. And that's basically it, its adaptation, is a lot of mitochondria providing energy to allow it to move towards the egg. Thanks for watching that video. If you want more videos, more how-tos, more articles on how to study and how to study science, then go to my website decaffeinatedtalk.com if you want to get in contact with me, then leave a comment underneath this video or via the form on the website decaffeinatedtalk.com.